watching the very last episode of season number one over here on the channel today. It has been a crazy ride so far in all 24 episodes that we've watched up to this point. And today is where season one comes to a close. I'm hoping it's a good ending, but sure it won't be. <laughs> a lot happened to end off episode number 24. Obviously, the plan to ambush and capture Annie failed. She turned into a titan, forcing Aaron, Mikasa, and Armin to go underground and start working toward a plan B, which involves Aaron turning into a titan and fighting Annie head on. For some reason, however, Aaron had a hard time transforming because he didn't want to fight Annie. I'm not exactly sure why this is. Maybe he didn't want to fight her because she is a comrade or she was a comrade. For whatever reason it may be, he had hesitation and there was a reservation against fighting Annie. And now that plan B failed, it was time to put plan C into action, which involves trying to capture Annie like they did in the forest before. It looked like it had worked for a moment, but Annie then kicked her way out of the traps that they set up for her. But just as things started to seem really bad and Annie was going on her rampage, Aaron finally got the strength to turn into a titan. The episode ends with their fight sequence beginning. So today, I guess we're gonna have to see how the fight goes, who's gonna come out on top, and we're gonna end off season number one really strong here. I just wanna mention that tomorrow I will have a full season recap on the channel. So if you guys are just now joining us and you're too lazy to go watch all 25 episodes so far, there will be one video explaining all of season one in my own words. So yeah, we're gonna get into it. I just wanna mention that I stream every single day of the week on Twitch.tv, so that's Checkers TV. Without further ado, let's go ahead and watch more Attack on Titan. We got episode number 25, the last of the season. It's titled The Wall, and we open up here, I guess, to some of the Wallace. Yeah, these are the walls praying around the walls. They believe the walls are getting stronger through their devotion and faith. Nothing can destroy the walls. What is the building noise for? Oh no. Oh god! That's the tower she fell into in the in the last episode. Dude, those people just got destroyed. Fight sequence is starting. A lot of people just died inside of that building because Annie sat on them. Titan got through the walls, man. Your walls aren't so strong after all. Dang, she crushed all of them. Oh my god. Here comes Aaron though! Is she going for the wall specifically? Oh, dude, he just got blown back. Wait, is Annie running toward the walls? Is she trying to draw Aaron away? So is the Survey Corps gonna help in defeating Annie? Oh, she's leading him to an open area because they can't use maneuver gear here, right? Yeah, they can't use maneuver gear. This is where she wants to fight. Somewhere where maneuver gear can't be used. It's only Aaron versus Annie right now. Nobody else. Oh, man, this music is so good. This, this fight's gonna be insane. Can they communicate? Or is that just in his own head? There were times where you looked alive. You're showing off your martial arts. Yeah, she's prepping for moments like this. Thought you were a terrible liar. Tell me, Annie, what are you fighting for? Oh! She hardened, though! Ah, oh, man. Yo, this is insane. Oh! Just threw her! This is gonna end up hurting a lot of bystanders if they're not careful, though. The whole city's gonna get ravaged right here. Oh, a capture attempt is going down. Mikasa! Is she okay? She's fine, okay. Uh, so this is um, Irwin still being held down by the military police. They didn't let him move. Oh boy. Oh, he thinks Irwin planned all this destruction. That's correct. Oh man, so many people getting taken out. Irwin knows so many people have to be sacrificed in order to, to save humanity. This guy doesn't get it. Oh man. Greatest sacrifices require the strongest wills, man. Oh, the little girl. It's all a part of a bigger plan. He just doesn't see it. He's not going to kill him because he's going to have to assume command then. <laughs> he's telling him all of his responsibilities to have to take over if he <laughs> assumes command. He's like, wait, wait, wait. I don't, I don't want that. So much damage. It's going to help humanity though. If they stay with it. Oh, is he going to kill him? No. He lowered his gun. Okay. Your priority is a civilian rescue and evacuation. Okay. They're gonna help. A trial will decide your punishment. Probably gonna be still held accountable for all this damage afterwards. Oh, so Levi has to stay put? He can't even go fight? Dude, he's one of the most useful characters. Someone who can't sacrifice anything can never change anything. Classic words, dude. Oh man, he's gonna overcome. Let's go, dude. He's gonna throw aside humanity to save humanity. She just blew his leg off. Oh, man! Dude, how is this gonna play out? What? Who is saying Annie? Is that her dad? So she has a reason for doing this too. Oh my god, man. She hardened her leg and stomped his mouth in. Oh no! Aaron! Oh 
my god! What are these memories she's having? Oh, dude! Dude, so she's having flashbacks of her own. I guess whatever happened to her when she was younger, losing somebody or some kind of tragic event is inspiring her to be the way that she is now. So she bashed in Aaron and just left. Is Aaron okay? Yes! His willpower is still there, dude! Dude, this is kinda creepy. Oh, she's going toward the wall to let the Titans in, maybe? Aaron Pog, dude! Oh my god! Bro, he's like on fire! He's regenerating so quickly! He's insane! Got her in a chokehold! Oh my god! He's regenerated! He's found new strength in his powers! He's like burning! His whole body's on fire! Well, here's where the real fight begins, I guess! Oh, grab the face! Ow! Oh, oh my god! Her eyeballs just popped like boba! This is insane. This is crazy. Look at the look in his eyes, man. <gasps> she strikes back! So many things are going on right now. She's going for the wall. Is she trying to escape or let more Titans in? Or uh, she might be intending to climb over to get away. No. Mikasa. Yes. Oh, got her fingers. Let's go, man. Oh, the other side. This is an insane moment. Oh, my God. Annie fall. Bro. Did Annie just take an L? What is this? Is it too late to ask your forgiveness? What's going on? My god, you can make the world your enemy. Oh my goodness! I don't know how to commentate anymore. My jaw is dropped. She's saying she'll destroy the entire world? Even if the world hates you, your dad is the one person who's on your side. He's gonna kill Annie. Oh no, Aaron might not have control. Promise that you'll return? Aaron ripped into her. Is Aaron gonna kill her? Aaron, you don't kill her. Don't kill her, Aaron. She's crying. My head hurts so bad right now, man. There's no stopping him if he does eat her. Did she? What is? They're fusing. What? She's gonna take him over? Is he gonna take her over? And he's being covered in some kind of crystal structure. Oh, man. Levi! Don't eat your valuable witness, you idiots. Levi is insane. One shot ended the whole thing. I got a couple of questions there. I don't know who was speaking when the phrase was said, I'm going to destroy the whole world. I thought it was Annie, but it kind of sounded like Aaron. And then they started to fuse as they touched. This like crystallized structure went over Annie's body and it looked like something was changing within Aaron. That was very scary looking. But then Levi stops it in one fell swoop of his blade. My heart rate is like through the roof. But there you go. The end of the battle, I guess. Annie's inside of this hardened structure here? Why does his face look like that? What in the world? There, this is a lot of text, man. I dropped out of college. I can't read all of this. All right, well, everybody get ready for a nice uh, reading segment. So we have some information on the wall. The year 784, one blistering hot night, a miner decided to dig under Walsina to live within the inner ring. Life in Walsina would be pretty nice. That thought had come to him suddenly a few days as he dug with his shovel deep in a coal mine. In a way, you could call it divine inspiration. And so for the next few days, he wandered along the wall, finally settling on a spot where the dense forest pressed against it. No one would chance upon him, and the overhead leaves would shelter him and his task from the prying eyes of the guards above. On the next night, he began. Using his trusty shovel, the miner began to dig. The work went smoothly, and before long, the pit was as deep as he was tall. When he could no longer fling the dirt outside it, he stuffed it into sacks, climbing a ladder to discard it. Completely dedicated to the task at hand, he took only a few short breaks during the winter to ease his weary muscles. After spending 20 years of his life digging without a day of rest, the miner knew he was an expert at it. And during the time he learned to dig deeper, more quickly, and more efficiently than anyone else. Tunnels that would stop any other miner were no match for his shovel. By that day, he was different. He dug for hours, yet never seemed to get anywhere. As he dug, he probed to the other side of the main pit with his shovel, but it was of no use. Wall's foundation seemed to go down forever, deep into the earth, 
blocking his path at every turn. Still, he persevered. Any thought of digging his way to an easy life within Wall Cena had been long forgotten. He simply wanted to conquer the wall. I'm willing to bet all the years I spent digging that I will beat this wall, he said to himself, wiping the sweat from his brow. The hole was more than four or five times the miner's height when he struck the hard rock. He wondered, bedrock? But it appeared to be the same material as the wall's foundation itself. The miner swung his shovel down hard on the rock. The shovel shattered. The rock was unscathed. The miner sighed, and his sigh was deeper than any hole he dug in the previous 20 years. With a frown, his friend questioned the wall. It's weird, isn't it? The miner said, lifting his drink up to his lips. Who knew that the wall went so deep underground? The pair sat across from one another at a table in the back of a tavern in a seedy part of town. Most days, the miner would go there with his friend, his only friend, after work. That day, the day after he tried to dig under the wall, they'd gone there as usual once the workday was done. And then the miner told his friend the story, certain that his friend could keep a secret. Maybe we're surrounded by walls not only above the ground, but below the ground too, said the miner. Tell me something. What exactly are the walls? His friend cut him off with a cough, glancing around the tavern. The patrons were all busy drinking, hitting on the tavern maid, or yelling at one another. No one was watching them, but even so, the miner decided not to say another word about it. If anyone heard him, the military police would be there in an instant. Does it really matter? His friend asked. Just keep on living here as you always have. You're poor, but you have a job every day and enough money that you can drink. Isn't that enough? Yeah, the miner replied, yeah it is, I'll go back to digging, in the end, I guess that's my lot in life. But the next day, the miner didn't show up for work, nor the next day nor the day after that. His friend went to his house many times but never saw any sign of him. The miner had no relatives nor other close friends, so there was no one to ask where he might have gone. Unsure what to do, his friend eventually went to the garrison, told them the whole story. The next day, the military police and garrison organized a large-scale search party. It was a little excessive for one poor miner, even if the miner was a criminal who tried to pass under the walls. His friend couldn't understand why they were so bent on finding him, but they never found a trace of the miner nor even the pit he dug. One day, his friend also vanished, never to be seen again. That was a lot of reading. So we just got told this whole long story about somebody digging under the wall to get to Walsina, but there seemed to be no end. There was no way to get to the other side, and he made a supposition that the walls just go down forever. And then after talking about the story to his only friend, he went missing, and then his only friend went missing. I think they're dead. <laughs> that was a long, weird story. I don't know how it ties in here, but glad we read through it. Now we know it. So we open up here with Aaron waking up with these weird markings on his face after the fight. I don't know if he always has these markings after turning into Titan, but I don't remember seeing them. Trying to figure out where Annie is, and she's out of that crystallized, hardened structure. She can't be touched. Oh man, it's no use. She just like completely asleep. It's no use. It's useless, man. We'll tie it up and carry it underground. Can't get any information out of Annie. Why do we have to show for all of this? So sorrowful. Nothing was gained once more. Well, this does mean the Survey Corps can live on, because now we have to learn more about Annie. They're going to allow them to keep the faction just so they can do research. It's insane, man. That battle was so climactic. Everyone is being interrogated now about his plan. Mm. He didn't ask military police for help for a specific reason. Female Titan, ah, oh, yeah, because she was a part of military police. It just makes sense. And now he's responsible for all the damage that was done. Sincere apologies. <laughs> Yeah, if they had left her alone, way more damage would have come to fruition. It would have been terrible. Do you have any conclusive proof that this has forestalled humanity's extinction? The answer's probably gonna be no. Nah. I doubt it'd be possible. It may have all been for nothing, man. That's so... Uh, so many layers to this. Is that... Are we with Aaron now? Yeah, we are. Why are flowers always attached to where Aaron is? I think that it's gotta have some significance here. I'm just gonna take a note of every time I see a flower anywhere near Aaron. I wonder if he's gonna remember what happened at all. He held so fast, it's almost creepy. Yeah, way faster than before. Everybody's gonna be so down because they learned nothing from the operation. The information she has, man, has gotta be so crucial. That's why she froze herself. Nobody can figure it out. He's aware that he allowed it though. He couldn't do it? He couldn't... What? He froze up when he saw Annie, man. Ah, uh, now it's time for questioning. After Aaron encouraged everybody to be so strong to defeat all the Titans, he couldn't even do it. Felt good to get all beat up? What? He wouldn't even mind dying. Dude, something in his Titan brain is carrying over into his human self. It's scary. There's so much uncertainty. Mikasa's still with him, dude. I just got chills. She's just relieved he's not dead yet. 
The flowers. The flowers mean something. So the amount of humanity Aaron still has, to not be able to take out another human is incredible. Even if you did become that monster and destroyed all the Titans, that really be a victory for humanity. Hey, were those Birds in the first episode? Those birds have to have some kind of significance as well, man. Won't be easy to overcome, but he's got to overcome his humanity to save humanity. And they gained a tremendous opportunity with having Annie underground so they can do research on her. Aaron's biting into bread. The music's ramping up. The very fact that we've captured one of the enemy is a massive step forward. Yeah, there's more than just Aaron and Annie out there, though. Oh, now it's our turn to attack. Yes! Dude, is that how we end off season one? Summon for Aaron Yeager in the Survey Corps was suspended indefinitely. There's no hearing now, so research can begin on Annie as well. It would take much sacrifice and time before humanity learned what it was that held them captive. Man. The key! The key! Why is the key on his chest again? What? When we least expect it, I even forgot about the key in the midst of all the action that happened on the 57th expedition and the fight in the town. Oh my god. Okay, I was told to watch the scene after the credits end, so I'm gonna skip to this. All right, so this is the scene directly after the credits. I've been told this is crucial going forward, so I want to watch this as well. Okay, this is where Annie tried to climb up the walls, right? Bro! Wait, 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 wait. Stop right there and there it is. Okay, hold on. Wait, that's a Titan. Oh my god! I can't anymore. I'm just I'm just tired. Oh man. Well, there you have it. Season one has come to an end. 25 episodes, an insane ride. So many questions that I have. I mean, I thought I was getting answers to things little by little, but then I was like, never mind. <laughs> so the episode ends off with Annie deciding to freeze herself and Aaron actually allowing her to do so. Levi then comes in at the very end to stop any kind of fusing that was going on between the two. Aaron is now in the infirmary. Annie is underground to have research done on her. And the episode ends with the key being on Aaron's chest to the basement and a titan looking through the cracks of the wall that Annie made. So many things are gonna happen in season two and man, I am so excited for it. There you go, man. What a ride for season number one. Thank you guys for watching along with me. It's been a lot of fun so far. Again, tomorrow I'll have a full recap of the entire season out. So if you wanna watch that and get a quick summary before we go into season number two, that'll be out for your entertainment tomorrow. Insane ride. I had so much fun watching season one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and all of season one so far. And if you did, and you don't mind doing so, make sure you go ahead and drop a sub like, a subscribe, a like, and a comment, and I will see you in the next reaction video.